Nelly, this is Davenport. Davenport, this is my sister Nelly. Davenport? How do you do? This is Davenport. Oh, well, come in, please. He's talked about you so often, you know, especially recently, how he's longed to get hold of you again. <laughs> come this way. So how was the Mozart? Did you bump into each other at the Mozart? Uh, yes, that's right, the interval. Um... Come. Sit. Now, what would you like to drink, Davenport? Um, well, what have you got? Every cordial under the sun, made by myself. Belly, offer a proper drink, please. There's more whiskey, gin, vodka. Where? In the cupboard in my study. Since when? I got it in last week, in case we have visitors. Well, none for you. Cordial for you. What'll it be then, Davenport? Well, actually, I'd uh, like a cordial too, please. What? Not Glenfiddich? Martini. I could make you a martini. The strawberry, raspberry, apricot. Raspberry, please. Good choice. And for you too, Nathaniel. So you're the famous Davenport, then. Such terrible pranks the two of you got up to. My favourite is the time when the two of you climbed through the housemaster's window. And I, Stavenport. Uh, yes, please. Put glue on his seat. <laughs> so there he's stuck. <laughs> Here. Oh, wait. A straw. It's best with a straw. Oh, thank you. And Nathaniel, writing all those poems, rhyming ones to the senior boys. We were so happy under your wing. He still talks about you in his sleep, you know, Davenport. Only the other night I heard him shout out. Nelly, I think Davenport must be a mite peckish. Oh, good. Uh, what would you like? Well, if you had some scrambled eggs, for instance. With smoked salmon? Thank you. For you too, Nathaniel. Only no salt. And of course, no smoked salmon. Well, you were much in my mind. Oh, a lot of messages for you, Nathaniel. Mr. Rosenblum from the Synagogue Commission, very angry, he didn't say why. And some people in Lewisham who thank you for the hundred goats' cheeses. What are they for and can they send them back? And Rabbi Harwood, and uh, the wife of the Yiddish playwright who you sent those turkeys to for his first night. Nelly, Davenport's hungry. Oh, yes, poor Davenport. <sighs> By Harwood? God, he's a monster. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Those phone numbers you said you got, of the others on the list. What do you do? I've retired. Retired? At what age? Well, when I left school. Most of this is from my father. He left me certain... Responsibilities. Nine, four, eight, two, three, oh, hello. Can I speak to Mr. Billington, please? No, you can't. Oh, is that um, Mrs. Billington? Yes. Well, um, I'm uh, I'm an old school friend of your husband's, and uh, I was just wondering. He's not here. Oh, um, well, have you any, any idea when he'll be back? I have no idea. I see. Thank you very much. I don't know. Well, at least she was civil with you. When I phoned. Oh, hello. Is that Mr. Coveney? It's his son. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, your voice sounded just like your father's. Um, I'm uh, an old school friend of your father's, uh, and I wondered if he was in. He's gone away. Oh, I see. D do you have his number, by any chance? No. Goodbye. Right. Thank you. He left home, apparently. No number. They refused to speak to me. Number disconnected. Who? Oh. Wartle. Oh, connected last week. Abusive, but connected. Who are you dialing now? Shulman. Oh, she was the worst. Oh, hello. Can I speak to Mr. Shulman, please? Oh, God. Oh, was that Mrs. Shulman? Yes. <clears throat> ah, well, um, I've only got a few days in London and uh, en route from uh, Dubai to New York. And uh, I suddenly had this urge to get in touch with all my old school friends. And obviously old uh, 
surely was top of the list. Um, oh, the times we had together at uh, Ample Sides, the Terror Twins, they used to call us. Uh, Dangerous Davenport and uh, Suicide Shulman. Oh. Um, Mrs. Shulman? Scrambled eggs and smoked salmon on the table, boys. Forksman in the house at last. Now, have you finished, Daniel? What more would you like? Plum pie? Uh, well, well, thank you. With a scoop of ice cream. That was delicious. Thank you. Chocolate. Don't be put off by its shape, it's homemade. And now Nathaniel will give you your spiritual pudding, won't you, Nathaniel? Oh, no. Nelly, really, I... Feed the stomach, then the soul. Would you send him on his way with an empty soul, Nathaniel? Nelly, I... I'm not sure I can. I think you must try, Nathaniel. I think you must try. I made you. I'm sure it would be all right. It would have been a great concert player, you know. A great one. But it always happens in front of an audience. I hoped with such an old friend it would leave him alone for once. For me, every night he plays like an angel. Uh, well, yes. And tonight you certainly played, um... Uh, look, uh, I, I really ought to be going. Um... What are we going to do? Something very obvious, of course. Get a private detective and ask him to check on the names, find out where they are and what's happened to them. It shouldn't take a good one long. But when can you do it? You'll have to do it. I'm in court tomorrow. A private detective? Well, how do I know a private detective? Nathaniel, Nathaniel, you still out there? Mrs. Mossberg is on the phone to thank you for your present. She sounds very angry. Oh, God, what did I send her? There's one called Jackson, Frank Jackson. He does a lot of work for solicitors. They say he's very efficient, all right? But of course, he knows my name, so he mustn't mention me. But, but how will I find him? He'll be in the phone book. Now, the moment you find out anything, anything at all, let me know. Nathaniel, come now for Mrs. Mossberg. Also for your chest. Daniel, send him in straight away. Just coming, Nelly. Coming? This is the number of my chambers. They'll know which court I'm in. I count to ten, then I'll come out and get you. Have you got them? The moment you find out anything, get in touch. Right. Good night, Daniel. <laughs> 